Welcome to Let's Vaccinate, understanding vaccine preventable diseases and how to keep your clients safe. Brought to you by Columbus Public Health. Thanks for joining us. We are glad you're here. For those of you attending for credit, you will get 1.58 nursing contact hours for successful completion of this learning activity. Credit for this activity can only be awarded from October 1, 2012 until October 1, 2013. Please note, if you previously completed this program and were awarded nursing contact hours, you may not reclaim nursing contact hours for repeating the same program. For those seeking nursing contact hours, you must complete the registration form for the Let's Vaccinate Independent Study, then take the pretest. View the Let's Vaccinate program. Complete the post test. A passing score is 80% or higher. You may repeat the post test to achieve a passing score. Complete the evaluation form, making sure to indicate how long it took to complete the study. Once all requirements are met, you'll be able to access your certificate immediately. Now that we know how to get credit hours, let's take a look at why we are offering this training. The bottom line is, we are offering this course because you wanted it. Focus groups sponsored by NACHO to determine barriers to childhood vaccination asked for more vaccine training because of high staff turnover, staff who lack experience with vaccines, concerns over vaccine safety, and non-nursing professionals who administer vaccines. In response, Columbus Public Health developed this program to address the issues that healthcare providers identified as barriers to improving vaccination rates for clients of all ages. Specifically, providers asked for ways to recognize signs and symptoms of vaccine preventable diseases, identify measures for the prevention and control of vaccine preventable diseases. List the schedule for vaccine administration. Review best practice techniques for safe administration of vaccines and identify common safety concerns and misconceptions related to receiving immunizations. Now, let's see how we'll accomplish these goals. First, we'll talk about some of the diseases that vaccines prevent. Then we'll learn how immunization isn't just for babies anymore, and we'll talk about vaccines for patients of all ages. We'll also touch briefly on herd immunity, schedules, licensure by age, and timing of vaccines, as well as some frequently asked questions about specific vaccines. Additionally, we'll take some time to address general administration tips and storage and handling issues. And finally, we'll discuss vaccine safety concerns and talking with parents about vaccine safety. And then, we'll give you some resources for additional information. Let's get started with one of our favorite quotes from Dr. Melinda Wharton, who was Deputy Director for the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases at the CDC. Immunization is the wall that keeps the diseases away from the community, and if the wall comes down, the diseases come back. Unfortunately, recent history has proved her right, as decreases in immunization have been followed by corresponding increases in diseases like Hib, measles, and whooping cough. The fact is, vaccines serve an extremely important purpose to prevent major illness and death. And even when diseases are not life-threatening, vaccines build the body's natural defenses, reduce the need for antibiotics and hospital stays, and in turn, lower health care costs and decrease school and work absences. 